What's up YouTube? It's Max Production and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you new 5 to 10 hacks. I'm not saying they're going to be 10 but these are hacks that you can actually use to make better ama piano and this is the things that these producers are hiding from you. So um, the first step is the drum pattern. I remember if you didn't watch my previous video go and watch it because I did show you how you can steal a drum loop you know how you can steal a drum loop ne? so let's say for example you had a song and you want to steal the drum loop um give me a minute all right so let's say you have this drum loop and you want to steal you know you want to steal it ne? <laughs> not steal it you want to borrow it ne? so let's say you want to borrow this drum pattern this is small so let's say you want to borrow it this is what you want to do ne? you want to shift it like this ne? okay before you shift we don't know what's the tempo of this beat ne? so what i want you to say is that go and grab these two arrows ne? and then hold alt and then shift it like this up until it's at the end like this ne? like this ne? so now play it and see where it's like where it makes a four pattern eh? you see it makes it here so this is how it is you see so that's why it's gonna play again you see so, but now it's too close, so we're going to hold the hands like this. Yeah, and leave it. You see now it's matching, eh? But it's not in tempo. So what you're gonna do is that you can actually make this fit into your tempo by coming to this two arrow down here. I don't know in other FLs, I forgot because I've not been using that FL for a long time. But there's something you press that also allows you to, you know, um, you know, drag and hold this thing. So I'm going to drag it like this, like this, just like here. Yeah. Then it's, see now it's in tempo. You see. I've just told, I've just told Cubs as <laughs> Trump, eh, you know, I have it now. But what if I don't want Cubs as to know that I stole this Trump peasant from him? You know, because there's people who, there's producers out here who are very smart, eh? Hey, they, they can actually know that this is my Trump, eh? So, let me show you what you can do. You wanna go to Fruity Slicer, eh? And then, uh, what you wanna do is that you wanna click, uh-uh. What you wanna do is that you wanna take this part and then you wanna press you wanna press Control Alt C just like that just like that and then what you wanna do is that you wanna hold this thing like this then you wanna come to for this slicer place it inside and then put it here then now ne? you see this are in short if you play one of them come in here let me show you if you come in here and you play them ne? where are they yeah, they are here. You see? So it gives you everything that cups are used. You see? This is the kick. So it gives you all the in short that cups are used. How cool is that, bro? Like, tell me, bro. How cool is that? How the hell is that even possible? Ah, uh, FL is nice, guys. You see? This is all the drum patterns you use. But if you are a lazy producer like me, <laughs> you don't wanna overwork yourself. What you can do is it's simple, bro. Just control, just press this slicer thing and say beat. You see now, now it's a full beat. Now it's no more, it's no more like the way it was. Like it's no more those in short like the the, the the perks and whatever you use. No, now this one is a full beat. You see, yes. You see, so now we are going to play with it around.
Now, if you don't want them to know that you stole it from them, what you wanna do is that you wanna drag this down to 20%. Now, listen. Done! You stole it! It's now yours! It belongs to you! Yeah, man! Another thing, man! So, um, I just showed you how to do that, man. So, it's interesting, I know. You can get the, uh, the thing, the, the parts, the drums they use in that, in that song. And the next thing. Alright, so I'm going to use, um, I'm going to show you a scale that always works when it comes to my piano. This scale always works. Don't tell them. It's a secret. So, this is the scale that always works, man. So, this scale, I call it A minor. You see, it's A minor. A, the nice thing about A is that all the scales, all the, it has all the white notes, all the white notes are in A minor. Ah, how cool is that, bro? So, let's say, for example, uh, you wanted to go for some chords, right? Uh, where is my body? <laughs> Where is my body? Where is this? What scale to go to? A minor, my brother. Don't waste time, my brother. A minor. A minor. So, let's say you don't even know how to go about it. So, count four notes down from A. One, two, three, four. secret now okay before we drop it in eh, let's just like put notes on top like this uh, so you skip like this okay, let's go. you see i'm putting g everywhere eh? It means G sounds good on all of them. Né? There's always that one note that sounds good in every pro chord progression. So let's. Alright, let's go up. Down, I mean, <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna move this one like this now, look. So I'm going to try to freestyle with a PC keyboard. So personally, myself, I don't have a MIDI keyboard, you know. I don't have the, 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 the that normal keyboard, I don't have that one. I have the PC keyboard, you know, the PC, yeah, PC. <laughs> I should say, I don't have the piano, that's the right terms, but I have the keyboard, the one we use to type, and all those stuff. So, we are going to be doing this thing. So, I'm going to show you how it's done. First step, you come to this thing that says, you see, piano keyboard, if you read. So, it's, we're in the key of A. Like I told you, always use A. Ne? And then what you're going to do, we are not, we're, we're in minor pentonic. Ne? You can use minor pentonic because these chords are... They are emotional, right? If they are not emotional chords, we are going to use Arab blues. But since we are here, let me go and grab my my freestyling yeah. freestyling plugin. So what do I call it? Musty. Then I'm gonna send to the mixer. Then I'm gonna drop. Uh, I'm gonna drop this. Then just to increase it, decrease the beat. Then I'm gonna add this. Yeah, let's do it. Control Q to quantize. 
Then you're gonna press Control R R to randomize. Then you're gonna press Control X to drop it a bit down. Now let's hear it. <laughs> and I know it's very easy so guys I've come to my conclusion step number one I showed you first step is um, how to steal a drum pattern from any producers then second one is um, I showed you what scale you must always use ne? then the third one I showed you was the chords how to make chords in that scale and simple you know i told you you go four steps down eh? then the fourth one was the freestyle let me leave you with the fifth one i feel like the fifth one can do something for you so these chords are playing like this né? and you can get a melody that can play along né? yeah you wanna go to this preset space voice né? and then wine a so what you wanna do is something like this It's not even on the right spot. Let me place it. Always use always use these two notes here. Notes those are together. It's always these two notes or these two notes. Ne? So always use those ones. They always sound good. So let's 